As we look around this park, painted beautifully in the vibrant colours of autumn sunlight, we are aware that this is not the peaceful, picture-perfect reality of millions of people on our planet today. We live in a very fractured and chaotic world and all around us we see the horror of wars and the suffering of the disadvantaged and disorientated, the devastation caused by floods and earthquakes. We hear the whimpers of wounded children and the silent tears of those who are bereaved, confused, frightened, bewildered, displaced and abused. We see and hear, we pray and care, and we know that our loving Father in heaven sees every tragedy far more clearly than we ever will. He hears every tear with heartfelt clarity. He is with every person, loving and comforting them through it all, until the day he longs for, when he will wipe away all our tears forever. The good news is that whatever we are experiencing today, God is constant and loving and faithful. He has promised that he will be with us always at our side through our suffering until he can put an end to all suffering. When we open our hearts and minds and eyes to him, we can see the sparkles of his love even in the darkest night. And it is to this loving God that we pray today. Dear beloved Father God, we praise you for your unfathomable and unmeasurable and eternal love for us. We pause today wherever we are and let your deep compassion for each one of us soak into our tired bodies, our bewildered brains and our fractured hearts. We're so grateful for all the ways you've loved us every hour of our lives and for the countless moments of your care that we never even noticed or paused to thank you for. And so we pause to thank you now, and we thank you deeply with all of our hearts. Today we come to you with all kinds of concerns. May we be aware of your deep compassion for every hurting human being. You are with us always. Whatever this fractured world throws into our path and whatever lies heavy on our hearts. You care so tenderly for each of us and our personal pains and we are so glad that we love and know a God like you who loves us more than we will ever know and we look forward to the day when you will tell us your story of our lives and we will learn every tiny detail of your care for us and we will be amazed. Father God, we also come to praise you for the wonderful work we see you doing every day throughout the Trans-European Division. We know that your kingdom work is being done here in a billion ways, from the imperceptible to the incomprehensible. And Father God, may we open our hearts to be filled with a daily outpouring of your love for us, so that we can capture every possible drop and channel it into the lives of those around us, extending love to those who are hurting and broken. And may we be your loving disciples, following you and learning from you how to grow lives of love and gratitude and service. And may we reach out to those around us, growing and learning together, encouraging each other as we grow deeper into your likeness, living spirit-filled, fruitful and beautiful lives, using the gifts you have given to us to make disciples that extend your love to others. And may we live and love together in ways that grow and multiply communities, magnetic with your love and kindness, extending love to all those around, so that through this process of loving and learning and sharing, your kingdom will grow in ways that bring joy to us and to you. And it is our prayer that you will move amongst us and perturb our lives so that our vision for you will be clarified and our understanding of your love will be magnified and we will be empowered to extend love to every person we meet and to encourage each other on our unique journeys of discipleship so we can multiply loving communities throughout the territory of the Trans-European Division. This we pray with all our hearts and minds and souls in Jesus' name. Amen.
precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows dreary, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, mm-hmm. hear my cry. Stand. Let me stand. Let me stand.